this is Henry the Computer Guy and you're most welcome to our second video about the introduction to databases. Actually, in this video, we are going to be learning how we can load or open Microsoft Access. Remember, in the previous video, we said that we are going to be doing our practicals using Microsoft Access. It doesn't matter any version you're having, but we are going to be using Microsoft Access. Actually, we've catered for people who are using Windows 7, Windows 10, and Windows 11. So let's begin right away and let's see how this one can be done. So for those people who are using Windows 7, first of all, or Windows 10, I've created images that you can use to open uh, your Microsoft Access. Let's begin with Windows 10. So if you're having Windows 10 onto your computer, you'll come to your start. Then you'll come to all your applications, then look for Access. It will be able to open Microsoft Access for you. Or if you cannot do that, you can as well come to your search button, then type there Microsoft Access, it will be displayed for you. So for those people who are using Windows 7, you'll also be able to come to your search button, you'll come to your programs, you'll come to Microsoft Office, then select Microsoft Office Access either of any version you want. For example, uh, let's say 2007, 2010, or any other version that you're having onto your computer. So for us who are having Windows 11, we can also do the same by coming to the Start option, then come to all our apps, then be able to locate Microsoft Access. Then for us, we are going to be clicking onto it to and we open it. And having opened it, you're going to give it some time, it will load, and this is how it will display. We have some options here, for example, home, we have the new, we have open. For example, you have ever done some databases there, you can be able to open them from here. But for our case, we have no databases and we are going to begin our new database. So I will come and click on the option that says new. And even here it is indicated that we are on the option that says new. We want to create our new database. So what we are going to be doing is clicking on the option that says a blank database. And having clicked on it, it is going to ask us for the file name. The file name is always the name of the database. If a question asks you to put a name of a database, for example, name it, let's say school, uh, you're going to be putting it under the file name. So I'll come and click here, then I put the name of the database I'm going to be using. For example, if I'm going to be using the name as school, I'm going to be using the school database. I'll type school, just like that. And having typed the name of uh, the database, I'll look for where I want to save my database by clicking onto this other folder aside uh, of that file name, which is telling me to browse for the location uh, where to put my database. So I will come and select it. And having selected it, it will give me a dialog box to look for where I can save my database. I'm going to be saving it onto the desktop under the folder called uh, Microsoft Access. So I will come and select it. And having selected it, I will come and click on the option that says open. Then I will come and click OK. So that means that my database is going to be saved onto my desktop in the folder called Microsoft Access. As you're seeing here, they're telling us or they're giving us the file path where our database is going to be saved. So after that, I'll click on the option that says create. And having clicked on that, I'm going to give it some time to load. So it will take us to this location. Here we have the name of the database. So up here. So we have some other tabs that are indicating different information as we shall be seeing. But before we go any further, we are going to be talking about some terms here. For example, the database object, which we have, for example, we have the tables, the queries, the forms, and the reports. So in the image down here, I've actually tried to indicate them. So let's first of all talk about that. And this is what we call the sets of related data is what our database is going to base on, for example, to work on the queries, Azure reports, and also the forms. That is what we call a table. So without a table, our database is not going to exist, or it cannot exist without the tables, because our tables are the ones that are going to be holding our data. Then number two, we talk about the forms, and these are user-friendly interfaces for entering and viewing data. 
For example, you want to enter data into a table, you're going to use a form. You want to view the data which is already in the table, you can also use a form. The number three, we can talk about the queries. So data resulting from queries or questions you ask of one or more tables. Remember, a database can have more than one, one table. If it is having only one table, that is called a flat file database. If it is having more than one table, then it's called a relational database. So a database can have one or more tables. So now they're telling us that the queries will be helping us to ask uh, our database to give us some results or some information. So we shall be using the queries. Then down here, we have another one which is called the reports. And this is actually formatted summaries of data suitable for printing. You ask your database after getting uh, that information, you can always print that information in the form of summary. Your boss has asked you for some information, you always have to present a report to that boss. So that is going to be a report. When we look at this second diagram, it is showing us that a database, all databases, rely on what we call the tables. The forms are going to rely on the tables, the queries are going to rely on the tables, and also the reports are going to rely on the tables. So a table is a major database object. That is what we actually had to talk about in this video, loading uh, our Microsoft Access and also talking about some database objects. So in the next video, we are going to be seeing how we can work with uh, these tables and see how we enter the data there. So it's been Henry the Computer Guy. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to click the subscribe button. Bye-bye. Sign out.